Hey, today we're going to look at Turnitin.com and how to use it to upload student papers for manual checking. We're going to look at how to authenticate Turnitin to your username, how to create a Turnitin password, and then how to upload the document in Turnitin.com. So let's begin. First, you're going to make sure that Turnitin.com has authenticated your username. This is how you do it. Before logging into Turnitin directly, you're going to need to have created a Turnitin assignment in Canvas. If you have ever created one in the past, you can skip down to the next part. If you have never created a Turnitin assignment, you must follow some instructions to do that. I'll have the link posted below so that you can follow that first. Or just go ahead and create an assignment using Turnitin in Canvas. This is how Turnitin.com will automatically create your user ID. Now, a lot of these instructions are specifically for University of Kentucky, and so this may or may not work in your institution, but it might if you use Canvas and what they call single sign-on authentication. So let's go on to part B, how to create a Turnitin login password. Once you've authenticated your username with Turnitin.com using Canvas and creating an assignment, now you can create your login password. The way that this works, if you click on login, your actual email will not work or password. What you'll need to do is down here click on forgot your password and then type in your UK Typically your long form or what I call the pretty email address, the one that perhaps you set up after you started with your link blue ID. Now try that there and then click next. If that doesn't work, then you should try your other UK address. And that would be your short form one, the one that you got that is the same as your link blue ID address and enter your last name or your family name there, click on next. You should then get a success dialog. Uh, if you get something that tells says that your username or your email is not part of the system, and then try the other one. If neither one of them works, then contact your IT administration. Okay, once you get the success dialog, then go to your email, click through to reset your password or really what you're doing is creating the password in the first place and then you should be able to use whatever email that you used and that new password to log in to turn it in so let's go to part C logging in to turn it in and uploading the document so you should come to this page here that says reset password complete you can either click on log in now or you can go to turnitin.com if you were to go to turnitin.com Again, you would click on login and then use the email address that you used to create your password and type in your password. Now, just let me show you something. If, say, you put in a wrong password and you try to log in, you might get this dialog here. One thing that is confusing is that it says, turn it in UK users, please log in here. This is not University of Kentucky. This is United Kingdom. And so... Just go ahead and use the regular login. So I'm going to put in my email address that I used to sign up and my password. So this is what you will see in your main page. If you have created assignments before, they will show up here. Classes actually will show up here. And if you click on those classes, then it will show you the different assignments that you had during those classes. So in this case, I'm just going to use a class that I've used for teacher support called Canvas Teacher Support. And I'm going to add an assignment for manual uploads. I call it paper assignment. I'm just going to call it manual uploads. Not going to get it, give it any point value at this point. Leave all the dates as they are. I'm going to click on submit. So now we have manual uploads, paper. Under more actions now, I can click on submit. I can submit something manually. Now from here I could select uh, a student that's enrolled in that class or I can add a name. Put a title in. I'm going to choose from this computer. I'm going to select my paper that I'm going to submit. 
and I'm going to click Upload. Confirming what it uploaded. You can click on Confirm, and then you should get this dialog at the top. Congratulations. Now when you go to Assignment Box, so you can see here that there's no similarity report yet. If you hover over, it says this report is not yet available. Please check back later. So we will have to wait until this report is available. You can always refresh up here at the top, but it usually takes a few minutes, so you should just go grab a coffee, then come back later. And now we have similarity reports come back. This is a paper that I previously put in someplace else. So you can click on this report. And you'll see that everything that I put in this paper shows up. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.